adulting. But wait, come here. Put your face over here. She paused. Seem okay. So hey guys, we're gonna take a second and get serious. Something not so great happened last night. Last night, this poor guy got left outside. It was an accident, obviously. This isn't the first time it's happened and it probably won't be the last because we as humans are forgetful. Super exhausted, <laughs> as you can see. But yeah, we came home from hockey last night and uh, Jay let him out to pee before, uh, I guess it was after he went and showered or before or something, I don't know. Um, he didn't tell me that he had let him outside. I was doing other stuff. And um, we both just went to bed. Like, I was up for an extra hour after that because I was coloring my hair, but you know, I didn't know he was outside. Um, and yeah, Jay, we just we just went to bed afterwards and didn't realize that he was outside. Uh, but he seems to be okay. Jay went out this morning and found him. He apparently was like walking around the block and <laughs> comes around the corner and Caper just barrels down at him. Yay! Our neighbor said that he was on our old balc our old porch for a little bit because when we moved we moved right across on the other side of a driveway like here's our old place driveway and then here's where we live so they're very very close and when we first moved it was very confusing for him because he just always thought we were going to the old place so yeah he's okay as you can see he's, he's playful he's all right but it was scary and accidents happen and we're just happy he's he's okay i'm very happy that the coyote situation in our area has been resolved and i'm glad he didn't get into kitty litter this time last time he got into a garbage bag that had a ton of kitty litter and i was like cleaning cat litter out of his paws for days look at this guy look at him that is so big sweetie look at that He's just exhausted. Why does it always seem that when you have to pee, everything gets in your way? It's really obnoxious. So I'm home now. I went and gave Caper a really big walk because he needed a rest up after his nighttime shenanigans. So I went and gave him a big walk, which was good for me too because I, I said last night that I was going to go to the gym. I said it on here especially so that I could be held responsible. and you know, actually go, but then I woke up this morning and my quads are just destroyed. <laughs> like, it's hard for me to even walk. So I especially gave him a long walk so that I would at least have had like an hour of walking today. So yeah, I'm quite tired and I'm really hungry. I really want to know what we're doing for supper, but Jay can't make up his mind. So yeah. What? <laughs> Dude, what's up? You okay? What's up? I'm looking like a hot mess right now because Jay just shows up at home with flowers for me with no reason. He just does it. Hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> he just comes home and makes me cry with flowers. <laughs> Why are you so sweet? Why are you so sweet? Hot mess. 
sexy women, that's a gentleman. I don't want flowers. He could just come home and kiss me and I'll be happy. But he comes home and he gives me flowers. Just because it's Tuesday. Ow. You're a fucking trooper, dog. I left Caper outside overnight. It's the second time this happens. The first time, we don't know who did it. I, I'm pretty sure I did it. She's pretty sure she did it. We don't know, because sometimes before bed, it's just like zombie, you know? But we got home from hockey. <laughs> it's my homie. I don't know if it was before or after my shower. Yeah, I let him out to pee, and then I was grabbing snacks, because I was hungry after hockey, as usual. I like We didn't even go to sleep right away. Obviously, I ate the food, I hung out a little bit, yeah. digested, brushed my teeth, go to bed while you were... I was up hair. until like 12, 30, 1 o'clock in the morning with my hair and everything. She's doing her hair and she's on the computer. But you never told me you let him outside. Well, that's the thing. I know. Well, just... I didn't tell you because I fucking forgot. But it's, uh, it's also sort of on me because like, I don't know why I didn't even notice that he wasn't in the house. That's the thing. But he's we so quiet. Noticed. We never know. We didn't notice last time. No. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm in bed, then I go to sleep. Then you eventually came to bed. And then only this morning, I wake up, I get out of the bedroom and I always look over and he's here on the couch. And he wasn't there. And I was kind of like, caper. And I look at his bed in the other room. He's not there. And then it clicked. I was like, I quickly get ready and get dressed and I went out the back, I went and looked around, I figured he wouldn't be there. So I go around and uh, I go to to the little park, but not into the little park and I'm whistling, I don't want to like, mm -hmm. you know, scream his name either. So I'm whistling and then I come back, I'm about to go around the block the other way and I just, I turn around and he turns the corner <laughs> over there and I'm like, Caper! <laughs> and I see him, he doesn't, hey bud, he doesn't, uh. he doesn't see me, but he hears me. He's, <laughs> so I him, all the way we're almost at opposite ends. I call him again. He's like, <laughs> and he takes off after me, and I crouch down. And I was like, oh my god. 